Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Okay guys, so we're going live tomorrow for Hot Messy Topics with Kim from Bravo Breaking News, which will be so much fun. Hopefully you guys watched Real Housewives of Beverly Hills last night and also the Real Housewives of Miami. If you did not, then now you have time to go back and watch them. But we have lots to talk about, lots to discuss. We're back to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion because we have Crystal, Dorit, Kyle. A lot of people are chiming in on this and yeah, you better believe we want to talk about it. So go ahead, pop off in the comments, smash that like button, show some love. And don't forget, we are giving or doing a giveaway on our podcast. We're giving away a free Rose Forever. Any Rose Forever product that you want from the site, all you have to do is go anywhere you get your podcast type in up and Adam, and then leave us a rating and let us know what you think once I ask you the question at the end of this. Let's go. Okay, guys. So first I have to start with this whole Crystal and Dorit situation because... Crystal's been pretty vocal on social media. Let's talk about this for a second. Thank you to all about The Real Housewives. Crystal dished on her beef with Dorit Kimsley and why she clapped back at Dorit's recent diss about her marriage to Rob Minkoff. So she sat down to chat with Entertainment Tonight about her ongoing drama with Dorit. And to start, Crystal addressed Dorit's child bride comment. Mm. As you may recall in a recent episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Dorit said, by the way, child bride... While you were busy getting married at 12, the rest of us were building businesses, graduating college, doing things, you know, to educate ourselves. In response to Anne Marie Wiley's claims that Crystal called her uneducated. When asked why hit back with an Instagram post, um, she said she didn't see Dorit's comment until it aired on Beverly Hills before explaining why she decided to fire back. I get that, you know, the show is designed to, you know, we're supposed to be shady, and But I don't know why she brought my marriage into it. I've been with Rob for 20 years. I have one of the most successful marriages. And regardless of how long I've been married, like, Rob and I are great. And so I think it's really rude and disrespectful to say something like that, which is very loaded. It's a loaded comment. And I'm usually very, calm, you know, quiet, but don't come after Rob. Rob Minkoff's the GOAT. He's very, very special. And to say that they're all in school while I'm just getting married... I went to a four-year college with two degrees. I built a massive business, and I have a great marriage. So there's really nothing to talk about. Now, she also revealed that she never heard from Dorit following her Instagram clapback. Meanwhile, Crystal did point out to Access Hollywood that most of the Beverly Hills housewives got married much younger than her, yet Dorit's comment was aimed directly at her marriage. Half the girls got married younger than me, and the other girls married men with a wider age range. So why was that directed at me? There's been a pattern. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you to our friends over at Bywig Hello Drama. They're my favorite. Here we go. We are definitely sharing this one. Oh, God. Crystal, yes. it's a season. It and, is. And you just filmed the reunion. Describe it in one word exhausting oof that's... exhausting in all directions mentally physically spiritually all of it do you feel any better following the reunion though it might be exhausting but do you feel like you were heard do you feel like you got your point across oh i feel great after the reunion oh yeah i feel good okay whereas before i would leave like the first two i was like oh god i don't know how that went or like I don't know if it was resolved this time. I really felt like I got everything out. I was okay. prepared and yeah, I was very happy. Okay. Well, how are you and Anne Marie? Because, you know, tensions were high a couple episodes ago, but then you did have this medical emergency, which yeah. I can't imagine. It terrifying. was, it was very scary. And I really am super grateful that she was there for me and all the girls really were. Um, but she really walked me through it. And, uh, you know, those are the kinds of moments that, you know, really put things in perspective. And are we going to ever be best friends? No. But um, we found like that was a great place for us to sort of restart. Okay. You know, because what is it about her? I feel like you kind of 
were a little bit quiet this season. Yeah. And then when she came on and when she was saying the things that she was saying, you were really activated. Yes. Yeah. I know. I see that <laughs> word a lot. Um, you know, I hold things in. I don't really feel like I need to get involved in too much drama, despite what the show is. But, um, you know, when we reached the point where she accused me of accusing Sutton of having an ED, that to me was like too far because mm -hmm. not only do I suffer from one that I've been open about it, but accusing someone of ha like covering up her own medical condition, I felt like I had to speak up not only for myself, but for my friend. And so that's really where things went, got very real for me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then I really understood why Sutton was so, so upset because she would call me like, why is she talking about my medical stuff? I'm like, oh, you know, like I actually was, I don't know if I was dismissive. I just didn't understand how, how, how much pain she was in. And then when, I, when it was happening to me, then I really felt like I had to defend both of us. Right. So that's really where it came from. And then the accusations didn't stop there. Yeah. She also <laughs> accused. It's like, yeah. She, she likes to going. accuse. She was, you know, she's an accuser. Yeah. <laughs> well, she did say that you told her that you thought the women were unintel unintelligent. Yes. Uneducated. Un I can't even say it. Shallow. Yes. And that they're all fake social lights, which they are. Which, they're all of fake course. Come lights. on. We're on the Beverly Hills Housewives. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I Look, it's like she's going to keep going. She was mad, obviously, that I called her out. And... Mm. um. You know, I told her when I met her, she watches the show. She's a fan and she was like super interested of like, do you guys hang out? And you know, she had these questions and I, and she goes, are the fights real? You know, I'm sure you hear that all the time. Okay. And I said, yeah, like, but I. Okay, guys. So we're going to go from there. You're going to see I'm covering the screen right now because Jason's about to go answer the door. But from there. We also have Kyle Richards, who has spoken about a few things, and I wanted to share that with you because this is something that um, I didn't really expect. She was talking about the reunion, and here we go. I'm going to play one last clip for you. How would you describe the reunion in five words? <sighs> I don't even know. Um, torture <laughs> is one word. Um, um, anxiety provoking, it's two words, sorry. Um, stressful, scary, <laughs> emotional, you know? Um, okay, um, who do you think got the most heat at the reunion? Well, um, I would say I was definitely in the hot seat a lot, I would say. Um, yeah, I think um, three was, uh, I mean, gosh, I think Sutton, you know, H says other than your own, whose reunion look was your fave? Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Whose reunion look was my fave? I am going to go with Garcelle and Erica. Up to. Do you Erica feel any sense did. of resolve at the end of the reunion? Yes, I did, for sure. I felt better leaving than going, absolutely, which um, is always my goal, which is why last year was so depressing to me and so, so sad. Um, I've never had, that was my. It sounds like we have a lot to look forward to from this reunion. Oof. Okay, guys. So wait. Before we go, smash that like button, show some love, and let me know, even though it seems like it's been a lackluster season for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and maybe you don't agree. Also, I love Crystal's clapback to Dorit, and why are you targeting Crystal there, Dorit? There's a problem with that. But are you guys looking forward to the reunion or no? Smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.